2306 Rockwood Mini Light here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan with some 2015 and a half updates. It is very rare I reshoot video footage like this because the time it takes to capture and, and process and upload and distribute uh, video footage. But I, you know, with the these updates that they put out halfway through the model year here on these mini lights, I just really wanted to get the newest and, and best stuff online. Um, Rockwood is the number one selling lightweight travel trailer or fifth wheel for many consecutive years. You know, why? Every trailer is the best for different reasons, but why does Rockwood seem to be a little bit better and, you know, based on sales records? More people feel that. Um, you know, it's not an opinion, that's a statistical fact. Um, you're going to find some people to do some of what I'll show you, but there's no other trailer out there that does everything that I'll show you in this video. Um, you know, a lot of lightweight trailers have a power tongue jack. Rockwood uses a little bit bigger and nicer one. It works faster, it's more reliable, lasts longer. Rockwood has 30 pound propane tanks instead of 20s. That's gonna give you 50% more dry camp time. One of the 15 and a half updates you're looking at here is the Sapphire package. That is an option, it may not be on every single 2306 we have in stock. More than likely though, it will be. That's what's getting us the, the very cool like vanilla colored, uh, I think they call it oyster colored uh, fiberglass skin. The black trim has become standard. Uh, we have a, a nice little milk chocolate diamond guard up front. I love the look of that. It's a nice contrast. Uh, another part of the Sapphire package is the frameless bonded windows. Um, they have not only just a really cool space age look, but it keeps the seal under the window pane. So the trailer's facing the sun, this side is right now, but those window seals are not exposed to sun damage. Uh, also, aluminum wheels are the third aspect of that. And Rockwoods do ride on uh, radial tires and they do ride on torsion ride axles, rubber ride axles. So this will give you an easier, smoother towing experience than most other lightweights can hope to offer. Uh, construction is another big part of that. Every part of this trailer is aluminum framed and fully vacuum laminated on the skin. There's three ways to put fiberglass skin on a trailer. First is called hung glass where they just hang the glass loose and if you push on it, it sort of wobbles under your hand. Next is pinch rolling, which Keystone does a lot of and there's nothing wrong with pinch rolling. It is a good process. Vacuum lamination lasts longer because long story short, instead of uh, having air in your bead foam, uh, it sucks out the air and it pulls the glues and the resins into the wall. This whole wall is water repellent instead of water absorbent. Huge, huge difference. And the front wall, the rear wall, the side walls, the roof and the floor are all laminated. Most fiberglass skin trailers, lightweight trailers, only the two side walls are laminated. Uh, while that is nice, again, there is, there's good and there's better, and that's where Rockwood separates itself. It's not just a good trailer, it's a better trailer. Um, you'll see things like a, uh, an outdoor entertainment center. You'll see a matching bracket inside the entire swing arm that uh, the TV is mounted on. The TV we've included as an option with most of these mini lights. Always double check your options list. Uh, it mounts right out here. Plugs in down here, right next to your grilling station. So you have an outdoor grill right here, right next to this big window. So you can kind of, from the inside, keep an eye on what's going on at, uh, you know, out at your campsite where you're cooking. And uh, you know, you're, you're watching TV, you're tailgating. And all of that is under your power awning. So you can do that even when it's raining outside. Outdoor speakers are nice, and they surface mount these. Uh, rather than have a big four inch hole drilled in a laminated wall, they only put just a quick uh, hole in just to feed a wire, and then they surface mount that so that you don't have to worry about um, anything getting, uh, you know, like water sneaking through there. You'll see things like a door, a gas door strut holds the door open so that on the other side here, you don't block your window. You keep more uh, light moving through here. You'll see nicer slider panels instead of those cheap flimsy plastic panels that can bust up real easy. Um, you know, it's there's so many things that go into it. Like again, I mentioned the roof. Check this out. Triple dog dare you to do that to grandpa's camper. You put your hand right through the ceiling. Um, this is a new color scheme. What is this called? This is called Toscana. And this is uh, with hickory woodwork. And I mention that because Rockwood gives you not only different options for fabrics, but also hickory or cherry woodwork. And I think that's another reason these sell so well, is they give you a variance in how you want your interior. It's very personal. It's a very personal touch when you take it home. Um, and I mentioned the fabrics. Again, remember, we sell a bunch of these. This video is here just to show you how these things are laid out. 
Always double check your pictures and our listing to make sure it's equipped with the, the colors and the features that you want with your trailer. Um, if you, uh, you look around here, again, another construction item, just better cabinetry in a rockwood. Um, the entire ceiling is domed, so it, it is a little bit taller here in the middle than on the side. It gives you that extra breathing room and extra space. And take a look at this. 23 foot ultralight trailer, no slides, and it still has central air because Rockwood standardizes their construction. So you get nicer things like central air and you can you could be, be using this in the middle of a very hot summer and be very comfortable in here. Um, the uh, Let me spin you around here real quick. All of your shades you see are the nice pleated night shades instead of the metal blinds. Metal blinds can easily get bent up and dinged up and tore up. You have a nice centralized control center here, access to most of your lights, awning, um, if you had a slide, it would be here. And uh, water heater and gas or electric or both. You can flip both on at the same time in Rockwood to get 18 gallons of hot water per hour. Um, up here in the entertainment area, this is that flat screen TV mount I was telling you about. The entire swing arm lifts and releases right out of here. A little tricky when you only have one hand. Well, I'm not going to fight with it too much more. There you go. Anyway. It's designed not to come out of there easily, obviously, because you don't want it to bounce out down the road. It's also designed not to fall off when it's mounted on the side of your trailer, so you do generally need two hands to operate that. You see we have a little charging center here, USB and 12-volt uh, outlets, so that if you have car chargers or just a USB cord, you can charge your phone anywhere you go. You still have, like I said, the central air system. You have a thermostat, just like you would at home, for heat and air. And your stereo only does everything. AM, FM, CD, and DVD. You can control inside and outside speakers so that you don't blow away the neighbors. Um, it has not only audio inputs, but both a standard video input and an HDMI input. Does everything, it's awesome. Uh, looks like we've upgraded the uh, doors on the refrigerator here to the hardwood doors so that it matches your cabinetry instead of just a panel. We really, you know, there's no sense in, in running 25 miles of a marathon if you're not gonna make the extra three quarter mile happen as well. Um, something I forgot to mention up front, there is a battery disconnect right on the tongue of these so you can keep your electronics from draining your battery. Um, little shower pocket here is something that they just added in 15 and a half. Give you a place just to keep your shampoo and stuff so it's not falling down on you. This box, by the way, this is your RVQ grill that goes on the outside. We just keep it new in the box until you take it home. Now notice the back here, they're even adding a little uh, uh, window right here just to let some extra light roll through. And take a look at the big Creative Breeze fan up here. Now, not only do you get the big fan, but you also get the roof rain cover built in standard from Rockwood. Instead of spending 50 bucks a piece to have those built or to have those added on aftermarket, you get them standard. 2306 has a pair of bunks. Notice they both get windows. Both windows do open for cross ventilation. And what's funny is how many other people I talk to, how many RV salesmen at different places don't even realize Rockwood does ship. A ladder with their bunks. People don't even realize that. It's just hiding under the top bunk. They don't realize it most of the time until the kid goes camping the first time because a lot of salesmen don't know their products. Um, you know, that's why I encourage you to, to come visit our dealership, get to know our people. More than 50% of our sales force was first a Halet customer before they were a Halet salesman. I think that says something. These are people who said, you know, this is a place I could work and I could be, you know, proud of what I do and happy with the people I work with. And I love this. This could be used as a pantry or a hanging closet. And notice that it goes from floor to ceiling and you have a second hanging bar in there. So you do have twin wardrobes just for the bunks or a, uh, a uh, like I said, pantry space here. Now, that is in addition to the his and the hers wardrobes up front here, but more on that in a second. Notice that with the uh, surface flush glass top over your stove and the sink cover, you actually do have a good usable kitchen counter space because you're not usually using all those items at the same time. Um, you know, kitchen space does have to be minimal in a smaller camper like this, so they maximize the output of it. And they even give you bigger drawers wherever they can. And check this out, I mean, they're full extension. Look at the size of that. You can put big stuff in there. Full ball bearing glides full plywood construction, real nice materials made to last longer. I mean, look under your dinette here. Even under your dinette, every single thing is aluminum framed. How cool is that? In areas where they need extra structure, they will literally stuff that aluminum with wood just to have something extra for the screws to bite into. But 
This is what sets the 2306 apart. It has a Murphy bed design. This is two floor plans in one. During the day, we just have a nice living room because how often do you really need to, to get to your bed during the day? Most of the time, the bed is only there for sleeping. So for two thirds of the day, it's wasted space, but it's extra length, weight, and cost you have to tow and pay for. But not in a 2306 because with one hand, you can turn this thing from a living room into a bedroom. No gimmicks, no tricks. That's all there is to it. Now we have a full walk around queen bed with his and hers wardrobes, just like you'd have in a normal bedroom of an RV. You generally don't need that sofa at nighttime because very rarely does anybody sleep on that, especially considering this has two bunks built into it and you still reserve the ability at any point to put this dinette down into a sleeper. Coincidentally, the dinette does have a freestanding table. So if you want to take that table out, use it like a picnic table, it's nice and heavy duty. It'll work very well for you. This floor plan does just about everything. And another 15 and a half update, they added another ceiling vent up here just to allow for more fresh air and cross ventilation in your camper. And putting it away is just as simple because they have a pair of struts that help you lift that bed and help you drop it down safely. What's interesting is because due to gravity, the feet right here are always pointed down. You can even make that kind of a decorative shelf that goes up and down with the bed. It's very cool. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.